The next one is social media, and this is huge. So having great social media can mean the difference between successfully hitting your soft cap, hard cap, and not hitting it. And I'll give you some great examples of where both of these scenarios have played out. So, you know, the, the key formats are Twitter. Like, everybody must have a Twitter account. I mean, it seems that the Billy basics at the moment in terms of, you know, finding out information, most things I find out are generally through Twitter because that's where the information is leaked by someone or it comes direct from the, uh, the company themselves. Then, obviously, Facebook, there's groups and stuff. Probably don't use that as much. Uh, and then it's probably next is Telegram. Was never a big fan of Telegram, uh, but I've really got into it. And again, it's a, it is a great place to ask questions and get information quite quickly. And then you've got things like Medium. Now, what is their presence there? Do they are they releasing articles? Are they quite active? Um, and, and this is this is really key. But I'll give you a few examples. So you've got a quality quality ICO such as Pharma Trust. They have the team in place. The, the product that they are bringing to the marketplace isn't just going to save money and time, it's going to save lives. Yet their marketing is absolutely atrocious. Uh, I did a, a, f a free video for them to try and help them. And, you know, we, we inboxed them and said, you know, do you want to help with your marketing? They said, we know our marketing shit, but we, we're not really bothered, which was just, uh, you know, and at that point, you just got to walk away from these things because if they're not prepared to support the social media side of things, then they're dead in a war before they start. But then if you look at some other projects, uh, Black Moon, you know, there's crazy amounts of hype behind that, uh, loads of social media. Uh, you know, like a great one at the moment is the NEX where, you know, they've done it as a bit of a lottery and they're using the social media. I mean, the amount of people that's probably signed up to that will be absolutely nuts. Uh, and they've just used the social media in such a great way. It creates uh, the community around the project. And that's important because if you don't have a community around the ICO, the likelihood is people lose interest uh, and then it, things don't really happen. I mean, they can have the greatest product in the world, but if no one's listening, no one cares, it means nothing. And what you wanna be seeing them doing is being actively promoting and releasing regular, at least material, even if it's just pictures with their brand and, and bits and pieces. You just want them to be active. You just wanna see something. Uh, because in this day and age, you know, there's so much noise through social media, through lots of different things, you're busy, that, you know, companies and ICOs can get one minute they're the next big thing and next minute you just completely forget about them because there's no noise, you don't see it. So you're constantly having to be in people's faces. And the other key thing is obviously who are they working with in terms of their social media? Have they got like a social media marketing manager uh, and all these types of things. So these are really important uh, and I'm a massive believer in social media. If you haven't got great social media, it's probably not a project I'd invest in. I feel